Hi, thanks for tuning into my VR Integrator how-to series. In today's video, we're gonna talk about VR states, what they are and how to use them. So let's talk about what do we get when we get the pack. So the first thing we, we wanna look at is kind of a little bit overview of this, uh, the folder structure here. So we go to the, the blueprints. Inside the blueprint, we have several different motion controller uh, blueprints to choose from. We have our, um, we have our basic uh, UI motion controller, which is the, yeah, the radial menu. This is the uh, radial menu right here. And then we have the the pointer motion controller, which is a basic pointer with no hands. It has the uh, controller mesh. We'll go ahead and look at that one right here. Look at that. It has this as that laser pointer that shoots out from it. And then we have uh, the default animated pointer hands, which is this one right here, the white hands that we've talked about before. And then we also have the new ones, which are the uh, the Jedi hands, the uh, the right version and the left version. The left version is the master class, or the right version is the uh, master class. It has all the functions and everything to uh, to uh, uh, the change. And the left is just a ch uh, child of that blueprint. So there's really not much code in here besides just changing out the the uh, the mesh itself. So we'll go ahead, open a uh, full blueprint editor, and you kind of see in here that what we changed was the animated mesh to the left hand and in the uh, animated um, animation class blueprint. So those are really the only two changes that are made between the difference between the Jedi regular and Jedi left. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the VR state. So what we want to do is have different states. So let's say we have a, uh, a game state, a menu state, an inventory state. We want to be able to switch between those states. So if you have your hands, you want to switch to menu, you want to pop up a radio menu, let's talk about how to do that. So what we have is something called VR state. So we have a VR base pawn. This is the pawn that you, it, it controls everything. This is you, it, it responds both the left and right uh, player controller or uh, motion controller. So let's open that bad boy up. And what we have here is something on the right side on the um, uh, default section, it says VR setup states. And underneath here, um, we have our um, states that we created. So if you look here by default, I have a game mode. And then in game mode, I go ahead and spawn in animated pointer motion class, which is the white hands. I spawn two white hands. And then in the, uh, the inventory mode, I spawn in uh, a radio menu on the left hand and then a pointer menu on the right hand. And then in the uh, menu mode, or this is another mode, I, I, you can make whatever mode you want. I spot in the Jedi hands left and Jedi hands um, for the uh, demo. Uh, so let's talk about that real quick. So this is what happens when we hit the uh, game special right or the shoulder button for the Vive uh, to change out the different modes. Uh, that way we can keep everything self-contained instead of having complicated graphs to change them out models. It's just easier to, to create them on demand. And let's go ahead and talk about the game mode. So let's go, let's go ahead and say we want to have an, a new state. So let's go ahead and add a EVR interaction mode. Let's open that bad boy up. And here's where we have all the different states. So you can expand this to as many states as you want. So let's say we add another state. I don't know. Let's say we uh, want to have a ghost mode or uh, an ability mode or whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever your, your game uh, desires. So we can also delete modes here if you want to name them something differently besides inventory mode or whatever. These are just for demo purposes. I'll save that out. Then I'll go back to our uh, VR base pawn. And now what we have is I can go ahead and add another state to it. Um, I can go ahead and go to um, ghost mode. And let's say in ghost mode, I want to get crazy and put the the menu on the uh, the right hand and uh, a Jedi hand on the left, right? So let's do that. Uh, let's do a Jedi hands left and let's do a menu uh, point, a menu motion controller on the right, the UI one. There we go. So now when we hit that button, we should cycle through those uh, pretty quickly. All right, so I'll go ahead and show that off. And um, also, when you place that VR in here, you can change it per instance. So let's say you don't want to change the master class. You can go ahead and just place the VR pawn in the level and then come in here and uh, modify it here uh, from default values like any other blueprint. So here's where we could change those out per level if you wanted. So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, restart this in a launch game so I can show off the changing of the states. So I've loaded up the game and now I have my four different uh, VR states. So the first one is the default hands. I'll go ahead and hit the uh, game special right on my Oculus controller. And it switches to the menu. So then we have the menu. And then I have uh, the other state, which is the Jedi hands. And then the fourth state was a ghost mode. I'll go ahead and click that. And now I have the menu on the right hand this time. And then my Jedi hand on the left hand. So I can do both scenarios. So if you wanted to mix and match the combination of the different scenarios, that's totally up to you and up to your gameplay. Uh, again, this is uh, uh, 
one way to do it, and there's several other ways you, you could possibly do it. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I, I've put it into the pack, and it uh, seems to be working pretty well. And there's not really a, any kind of frame, um, uh, drop in frame rate when you're switching through the modes. So definitely try that out, and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.